Hi, and welcome everyone. Lisa here for Whimsy Stamps. Thanks for taking the time to join me. So today I'm sharing two wintry Christmas cards with you and I'm sharing a few techniques throughout the video so stick to the end so you don't miss those. We're going to get started with our Misty or any stamping tool that you have will work but we are going to do some re-stamping, repeat stamping so be sure you have some type of positioning tool. I'm using Versamagic inks. I love these and the little dew drops especially on stamp the new pine bow stamp because it has so much fine detail that if I stamp it and color it I'm scared I'm going to lose some of the the detail in the coloring and I feel like by using these little Versamagic dew drop pads I can color with my ink pad and stamp and still get that same gorgeous effect. So what I'm doing is I just take the little point of the dew drop pad and come in and start color to the stamp. I used Jumbo Java on the pine cones and then I'm going to come in with Hint of Pesto and Tea Leaf on the pine and just laying down, randomly laying those greens down and it's going to give us a great variation in those greens to give us some nice highlights and lowlights. It's so pretty. I One of my favorite techniques and I do not do this often enough but it's great for stamps like this. Now this stamp here, the final stamped image, features two and five eighths of an inch wide by four and three quarters of an inch high in case you're curious. Now I stamped two of these. The second one we're actually going to do another technique on with Perfect Pearl. So you can use your Perfect Pearls with Versa Magic ink. And what I did was I went ahead and stamped that second panel. I've come in with some green Perfect Pearls and I'm adding that to the pine on my card panel. I'm going to first dump some of the green on my desk like you see I just did <laughs> and um, <laughs> I'm going to why work from the pot when you can work from the table. We're going to come in with some gold perfect pearls as well and ink up those pine cones. I think gold uh, and silver add great festive touches your cards for the holidays. And so for this, I thought the gold was going to be my best bet to go with the pine cones. And I love the shimmer that you get from Perfect Pearls. If you've never tried Perfect Pearls, I recommend that you give it a try. It's a lot of fun. It's very addictive <laughs> once you get started with them. So you just put a little bit of the powder down and swirl it around lightly with a brush. In fact, there are sets of Perfect Pearls and these brushes come with that set. Now, once you have applied it, swirled it around on your stamped image, then you can take a large brush and carefully clean off the excess I'm going to trim down these panels so that it's just the stamped image. I'm not going to leave any white around them at all because we're actually going to mat these onto craft cardstock. But let's go ahead and stamp the backgrounds on our card bases. Now I'm going to be using the shiplap stamp from uh, Whimsy. I think this is the perfect background for what for the look I'm going for. This is a very um country farmhouse feel to me it's it's my jam I love it so I'm I had a blast creating these cards I'm using Versifying Claire and this is Shady Lane to stamp my first background and then I used Pinecone in the Versifying Claire inks to stamp the second to create that soft glowy snowy look around the edges of your card super simple you can use white pigment ink yes Couple of quick tips about this though. I recommend either Memento Lux Wedding Dress or the Unicorn, Hero Arts Unicorn Pigment Ink is really good as well. You want to be light handed with this. Don't come in real heavy with this ink. You want just a tiny, tiny bit because then if you go too heavy with it, it just, it's heavy on your image and it doesn't give that nice, that soft, glowy, snowy look that you're wanting. Um, so remember to be very light handed with this and you want to be light with the application of the ink to your blender tool. Just keep that 
fine. You always want to use a light hand when you're using this white pigment ink on stuff. So I went ahead and trimmed down some craft cardstock to mat my stamped image and I gave it that same soft snowy edge as I did the stamped panel. And I'm going to add some mounting foam to the back of my stamped panels and go ahead and center those on those craft pieces of craft cardstock. I'm also going to soften up the edges of my card bases. And I did the same thing with those that I did with the stamped and craft panels. Then liquid glue to the back of our craft cardstock and go ahead and center up on our card panel. I went ahead and ran the Large Mary Word die through my die cut machine with red card stock. And I'm gonna add those to the card with some 1 8th of an inch mounting foam strips. Now the top one, I actually centered the Mary and this one I went off to the right a little bit. And I actually like the offset version better than the centered version. So since we have that great snowy effect, I have some white splatters needed to be done. And I have this amazing white brush cartoonist pen here that gives you the best white ink splatters you will ever get in your life. That pen is the most amazing thing. In fact, I just ordered two more and then saw that they had black ones as well. And I do like black and white splatters. So I ordered two black uh, of the pens as well. And I'll have those linked over on my website if you want to hop over there and check it out. So I really do appreciate you guys joining me. I hope you'll click that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of new content. Let me know what you think about these in the comments below. I love hearing from you all. You know it. Until the next time, take care.